Hey everyone, uh, Ani Monster here, and we are playing uh, The Pit and the Pendulum. It's based off of the Edgar Allan Poe, uh, from what I read, it's based off of the Edgar Allan Poe short story, of the same name, um, which I have read, but it was forever ago, so we'll see how this goes. It's a point and click adventure game. Um, and given that it's Edgar Allan Poe, I'm also going to assume that it's horror and related and whatnot. So let's get started. This is Latin and hell if I remember what it even says. My great Cthulhu. Spain, Toledo, Courthouse. was sick. Sick unto death with that long agony. And when they at length unbound me and I was permitted to sit, I felt the senses. I felt that my senses were leaving me. The sentence. The dread sentence of death. With the last distinct actuation. Accentuation. Which reached my ears. I saw the lips of black-robed judges. They appeared to me white. Whiter than the sheet upon which I traced these words. And Thin me even to thin even to grotesqueness. Thin with the intensity of their expression, of firmness, of immovable reser resolution, of stern contempt, of hu human torture. And then my vision fell upon the seven tall candles upon the table. At first they wore an aspect of charity, and seemed white and slender angels with the same thing. deadly nausea over my spirit. I felt every fiber of my frame thrill as if I had touched the wire of a galvanic battery, while the angels formed the meaningless spectres with heads in play, and I saw them, and from them there would be no relief. I felt that I lay upon my back, unbound, I longed, and not dared to love it. I dreaded them. First glance at objects around me. At length, with a wild desperation of heart, I quickly unclosed my eyes. My worst thoughts, then, were confirmed. The blackness of eternal night encompassed me. I struggled for breath. The intensity of the darkness seemed to oppress and, and stifle me. The atmosphere was tolerably close. I still lay quiet. Lay quietly and made an effort to exercise my reason. I brought to mind the inquisitorial proceedings and attempted from that point to deduce my real condition. But the substance had passed, and it appeared to me that a very long interval of time had since elapsed. Yet not for a moment did I suppose myself actually dead. Such is suspicion notwithstanding. What we write in fiction is altogether inconsistent with real existence. But where and in what state was I? Condemned to death, I knew it. I knew it perished usually at the auto auto's de fe, and one of these had held on the very night of the day of my trial, had I been reprimanded to my dungeon to await the next sacrifice, which would not take place for many months. This I, I at once saw could not be. The victims had been in immediate command. Moreover, the dungeon, as well as all the condemned cells in Toledo, had stone floors and light was, was not altogether exclusive. Fearful ideas now suddenly drove the blood in torrents upon my heart, and for a brief period I once more relapsed into insensibility. Upon recovering, I at once stared at my feet, trembling convulsively in every fiber. The agony of suspension grew at length intolerable, and I cautiously moved forward. I believed it. Wow, that is... Oh, that quits out of the entire game. Alright. Oops. Uh... There apparently are no options. So I guess we're moving forward now. I like the art 
style. It's... Oops. I missed it. Um... Cautiously moved forward. Am I supposed to head down? Very strong. There have been strange rumors of the dungeon here. chamber, but it was gone. My clothes have been exchanged for a rather coarse surge. I had thought of forcing the blade into of some minute crevice of the masonry as to identify my point of departure. Ooh. Looks like something. I tore apart a hem of the robe and placed it on the frag- placed the fragment at full length and it, at the right angle to the wall. My forehead seemed bathed in clammy vapor, and a particular smell of decayed fungus arose to my nostrils. I put forward my arm and shuddered to find that I had fallen at the very brink of a circular pit, whose extent, of course, I had no means of ascertaining at the moment. Oh, but there's water down there. many seconds I hearkened to hear its reverberation as it dashed across the sides of the chasm in its descent. At length there was a sullen plunge of the water. It succeeded by loud echoes. At the moment, at the same moment, there came a sound of resembling the quick opening and, a, and as rapid closing of a door overhead. A faint gleam of light flashed suddenly through the gloom and suddenly 
I saw clearly the doom which had been prepared for me, and congratulated myself upon a timely accident from which I had escaped. To the victims of the Inquisition there, were the there was the choice of death to which it assigned them. Duress to physical agonies, or death in its most horrendous moral horrors. I had been reserved for the latter. By the long suffering of my nerves, I had been unstrung, until I trembled at the sound of my own voice, and had to become every act and respect a fitting subject for the species of torture that awaited me. In other conditions of mind, I might have had the courage to end my misery at once by plunging into these abysses, one of these abysses. But now I was the veriest of cowards. Neither could I forget what I had read in these pits, that the sudden extinction, extinction of life formed no part in their most horrible plan. Agonation of spirit kept me awake for many hours, and at length I again slumbered. Hey look, more food and water. I... There hasn't really been a lot of gameplay. I'm kind of wondering if it literally is just, uh... It must have been drugged, for scarcely I had drunk before I became irresistibly drowsy. A deep sleep fell upon me, sleep of that of death. Oh, wood. Go on. There's not much more to go. I can't. I haven't eaten for the last two days. This food for his grace? Yes, I'm taking these fresh fruit it's his, to his grace. We shall take a couple of vegetables from this basket for our prisoner. Uh, but therefore, your, his holy, holiness. I promise you won't find out. No one is going to count. Ugh, fine. Hey, Aaron? Aaron? Uh, let's play a game with our friend. Okay, given the rest of the theme, Aaron is the name they chose? Maybe it's poor translation. I don't know, but... What? <laughs> See, Augustine works. What game, Augustine? We'll divide the vegetables into pairs and mix them up, then our friend will close his eyes and try to match them in some period of time. How much time? Okay. I will count to 30. If he doesn't make it, then he won't get anything. He won't make it. Let's bet on it. I bet one coin. It's a deal. Something tells me I'm about to do a puzzle. Well then, my friend, are you up for it? I'll try. Yep. Okay. Oh, hey. Nope. Ha! <laughs> Good! Here you go! Food! I am the best. Can I... do I... Nom 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 nom. It's weird that I have to... Is that... oh! Hi! Huh. Forgot about that part. Interesting. I like the art style. I really like the art style. How long it lasted, of course, I knew not. But when, once again, I unclosed my eyes, the objects around me were visible. By a wild, sulfurous, sulfurous luster, the origin of which I could not at first determine, I was enabled to see the extent and aspect of the prison. In its size, I had been greatly mistaken. The whole circuit of its walls did not exceed 25 yards. For some minutes, this fact occasioned me a world of vain trouble. Vain in Indeed. <laughs> this writing is really... Oh, like, I'm pretty sure it is verbatim from the Edgar Allan Poe story, which is strange, honestly. I am assuming it's in public domain. It's been a while since I've caught up on what domain Edgar Allan Poe is. Um, but it's a lot of text. And I, I know that a lot of text can work, plan uh, Planescape Torment, I've heard, is spectacular. I've yet to play it fully myself. I need to be in the right mindset for it, but, um... I don't know, it's a little weird that it's just the Edgar Allan Poe story, straight up. But alright. 
I had been deceived, too, in the respective shape of the enclosure. The generous shape resembled a square. What I had taken for masonry it seemed to be iron or some other metal, and huge plates whose structures or joints occasion occasioned the depression. The entire sur surface of this metallic enclosure was rudely daubed with all hideous and repulsive devices to which the carnal superstition of the monks had given rise. The figures of fiends and aspects of menace, with skeleton forms and other more really fearful images, seemed a strange line in the middle of this very well put together uh, description, overspread and disfigured the walls. I observed the outlines of these monstrosities were sufficiently distinct, but that the colors seemed faded and blurred, as if it had the effects of some damp atmosphere. And I noticed the floor too, which had which was of stone. In the center of this yawned the circular pit from whose jaws I had escaped. But it was the only one in the dungeon. I now lay on my back, and at full length, on a species of low frame framework floor. To this I was securely bound by a long strap of unwilling a sur surgeon? In fact, I can't pronounce words for crap. Sir single? Sir single. Sir single. It passed in many converse convolution about my limbs and body, leaving at liberty only my head and my left arm, to such an extent that I could, by dint of much exertion, supply myself with food from an earthen dish which lay to my side on the floor. I saw, to my horror, the pitcher had been removed. I say, to my horror, for I was consumed with an intolerable thirst. This thirst, it appeared to be the design of my persecutors to stimulate, for the food in the dish was meat pungent, pungently seasoned. Looking upward, I surveyed the ceiling of my prison, complete with the swinging pendulum, a little hard to miss. It was thirty or forty feet overhead, and constructed much like the side walls. In one of its panels, a very singular figure riveted my whole attention. It was painted as a figure of time as he had commonly represented, save that, in lieu of a sight, he held what, at casual glance, I suppose to be the pictured image of a huge pendulum such that we see on antique clocks. There was something, however, in the appearance of this machine which caused me to regard it more attentively. I fancied that I saw it in motion. Light noise caught my ear, and I looked at the floor and saw a huge horde of rats crossing it. A slight noise attracted my notice, and, looking to the floor, I saw several enormous rats transferring it. Tra transversing it. They had issued from the wall, which lay within view to my right, and even then I gazed, they came up, to the, up troops hurriedly with ravenous eyes, lured by the scent of meat. Can I... Okay, looks like I can do something now. So, got nothing in my inventory. Assuming that I need to. Yep, yep. Just gonna throw it at the rats. Nope. Nope. Alright. No! Hi, mice! Goodbye, mice. Um, no! Oh, hi, it's getting lower. Ah! Did I, did I lose? Gas! Looks like they're trying to poison me. I need some sort of protection. I don't think that's how. Th Oh, hey, haha. Uh, right, some sort of protection. Like, say, this? I want to. Can I. Mm, uh, mm -hmm. Do I. Do I. Pick this up? Can I. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Oh, they changed the uh, art style. Interesting. I can see them more evidently now. 
I have observed that, although the outlines of the figures upon the walls were sufficiently distinct, yet the colors seemed to blur and seemed to blur and indefinite. These colors are now assumed, and were momentarily assuming, a startling and most intense brilliancy that gave the spectral fiendish portraitures an aspect that might have thrilled even firmer nerves than my own. Alright. This is, um... I wouldn't really call it a game. It's more of just like... Like, this is almost visual novel-esque without having the layout of a visual novel. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Do I, do I drink this? Do I throw it down there? Um... Because the thing is, is that, like, it usually requires... Point-and-click adventures tend to require... some form of, I guess, problem solving, but so far I haven't really felt like I've been problem solving so much as just following the story. And I guess that's still kind of what you do. I appear to be having even more gas. Even while I breathe, there came to my nostrils the breath of vapor of heated iron. A suffocating odor pervaded the prison. I don't... It's not letting me actually do anything. Uh... I really do think this is just... I, I can't... Once again, I really like the art, but that's, that's about it. The music was incredibly loud when I first loaded in, and... Can I drink it? Nope. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with the rats. I mean, if I keep wandering around, it'll yell at me and... Yep. What? Do I need to combine them? Now I have a wet cloth. I can use it for protection from the gas. I'm dumb. Not that this creates... Same thing as that, so... Am I supposed to, like... I don't... Okay, I have a wet cloth. Now what? Can't use it on him. Clicking furiously on everything. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe if I right click it. Alright guys, I'm stumped. I, I <laughs> am probably going to pass out again. Oops. 
see if that's what happens. tottered upon the brink. I averted my eyes. An outstretched arm caught my own as I fell, fainting into the abyss. It was that of General Lasselle. The French army had entered Toledo. The Inquisition was in the hands of its enemies. So don't get me wrong. I love the art style. The music is... Eh. It's there. Fills the noise. Um, but... Also, I can't read any of this. Apparently I should learn Russian if I'm gonna do this. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a game. It's, it's not really an adventure game. It's, uh... It's just... A walk through Edgar Allan Poe's Pit and the Pendulum. There's there's nothing you can really do to the 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 only real like choice I guess that you have is it's not even a choice, it's just like a flip find puzzle. Um I mean I'm comparing this to like Monkey Island would be the best example. There are a lot of names that work on it, though. I think it's interesting. I should see if I can find more about this. Um, oh, I can't. <laughs> Skip any of it. Alright, I guess we're here for a bit. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. Uh, I guess this has been Edgar Allan's Poe. Edgar... This has been Pit and Pendulum by Edgar Allan Poe, as read by Onyx. I just... You know, whoever did the art for it, I actually really like them. I, I wish I could read who did the art for it, but whatever. Um, and here we are. Back at the beginning. There are no options, which I think is a little weird. Why have that button if it doesn't work? Uh, oops, I think I just started the... <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna close out of this now. Cause, oh, I can't even... Uh, okay. Ooh, ee. Um... That was the thing. Uh, sorry, I might have alt-tab to try and look something up. And, yeah, I can't skip this, so... I'm just going to close out of this for right now. Uh, it's just... Any... Uh, uh, uh. Alright, I guess I can. Maybe if I... Ooh, Pit in the Pendulum Classic. Just take that out, task manager, thank you. We'll launch it in uh, windowed mode for now. So this interesting, but not really a point and click adventure game. It's more of um also my apologies that the music keeps turning off. I am out to look at the uh the reviews of which there are 16. At least 16 that I am allowed to look at. Uh, 
Let's see what they have. Tags, venture point and click. Additional tags, delete local content, remove library, 14 hours of idling cards overnight. <laughs> Too long, didn't read, it's trash. No, game has no inventory, no menu, having to alt tab. The animations are sloppy, one screen for the intro without animation. Looks half decent. Uh, one of the weirded game thingy I have ever, I'm going to assume they meant weirder. Uh, you're an innocent guy who was charged with murder and you will be executed. Your goal is to survive both physically and psychologically. Um. Oh, oh no. Yeah, it's supposed to be a point and click adventure game. Um. It's not. Uh, it's just a retelling of the pit and pendulum. Um. Which is weird, and it bothers me because, once again, I really do like the art style. That's about all I really like from it, though. Uh, it doesn't have... I like how you... Like, what? what is the point of having the save button on the menu screen? Um, I thought this was going to be a little bit creepier than it ended up being, because, like, this, this intro... This menu screen sets me up for something completely different. I actually was expecting a game. I was expecting... Uh, not copy and paste from Pit and Pendulum. I actually wouldn't mind seeing, like, inspired by Pit and the Pendulum, uh, based on, or what have you. Um, I think it would be really cool to actually make a point and click adventure game out of this, where you shift it into this whole, like, intrigue thing, you gotta get out, you gotta, like, escape the pit, but this is not that. Um, this is just, they throw you into the pit that the main character of that story is part of, and I kept... What's interesting is knowing that I missed various dialogue from the character because I was clicking too fast. And at the same time I didn't miss it because I've read this short story before. So there was the brief moment of the flip cards uh, for the vegetable. And you know what? That That's a game I could play on my own. If I wanted to, I could probably find some other game that did it better. And, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily counted as a game if... <sighs> Overall, as a interesting way to tell the pit and the pendulum, yeah! It's interesting if you want to spend 50 cents to uh, see it to experience, I guess. I wouldn't even call it an experience, but see the pit and the pendulum. Um, read it in an atmosphere that would fit the story. I think this is a great thing to do. Uh, it's not a game. I'm just gonna throw that out there. This is not at all a game. Uh, and honestly, you pretty much saw everything you need to see here. Sorry if my voice was annoying while I was reading it. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it there. This has been the Pit and the Pendulum. And it has been rated negative on Steam. One can probably see why. Anyway, I will talk to you all later. Have a good night.